Can you see how pink my hair looks in the natural light? So cute. Hello everybody and welcome to a new studio vlog and a brand new week. Um, if you are new here, my name is Claire and I am the face behind OK Doodle, which is a mental health and motivational um, inspired brand where I do illustrations and then I turn them into gift shop treats for you to enjoy. Um, you can find me on Instagram, that's where I hang out and also I have um, an Etsy shop and an e-commerce store which will be linked below. Um, so let's jump straight into Monday shall we because I've got a bunch of happy mail to show you that came this morning. So the first thing that popped into the post box, letter box. So the first thing I received this morning was my Patreon happy mail from Joanne from The Fizzy Pumpkin. Um, I follow her on Instagram. She does wonderful illustra illustrations, usually um, sort of Harry Pottery fan art, but she does other stuff too and she is really nice and I really like it. Um, so I'm a patron, obviously. <laughs> And this is my Patreon mail for this month. So let's have a look. So there's two postcards which are so lovely made. I really like these. And this is the first one. Chocolate frog and a Hogwarts letter. Look at this, it's beautiful. I love this. And the back has the same theme. That's gorgeous. I really like that. They'll be going up on the art wall along with this one, which is a quote, a Dumbledore quote if I am not wrong. And then the back is the same as well. Very, very lovely. I love this quote. Um, I actually have a Dumbledore quote in my bedroom. Um, on my bedroom wall, um, I have the For In Dreams, You Enter World, That's Entirely Your Own, which is my favourite quote, um, but I really like this one as well. So yes, there we're going up on the wall of art, which is here. And then this one, I knew what it was as soon as it arrived and I had to open it because I'm very impatient with the things I am most excited about, which was this from Sam Jane Designs who I follow on Instagram and think is absolutely amazing um, I want to be her I don't think I ever will but she is awesome um, she does like um, illustrations and patterns and they're just amazing I love like her whole aesthetic is a bit of me it has like a 90s feel to it it's pinks um, it's bold I just love it everything like, if you look at her um, business card you get a vibe for her business off that and it's just awesome i love it this is where you can find her if you wanted to pause that there though i will link all the people in my bio but i saw this on instagram it popped up because i follow her and i like all her stuff she comes to the top of my feet and i was like i need this i have to buy it so i went and bought it straight away and um, it's a pin and oh my god <laughs> we just look How blooming gorgeous is this? Um, I needed it because I am a girl and I have goals. So I am a girl with goals. State the obvious. I freaking love this. I think it's gorgeous. It is so well made. Um, it's got two pins on the back and it is going up on the pin board. Pride of place because I freaking love it. So that is the happy mail that I have either purchased or is Patreon, um, but I have one more. Now this came in a big envelope and I was like, I don't know what this is. What is this? Um, because on the envelope, it had a happy mail sticker, which I make and sell. So I was like really confused. So it came and I was like, but this is my sticker and I, ha I don't think I've ordered anything or this big or box swapped or anything. I was so confused. So I opened it and read the card so I knew who it was off. But I haven't opened any of the um, lovely 
packages. I'm going to do that now with you on camera. Um, so let me grab the card, um, which in itself is absolutely stunning. I'll wait until you see this card. I think I did it up wrong. Um, the card says she believed she could, so she did. It is proper handmade, like, this is all like stuck together and made, handmade, I can tell. Um, it's beautiful, and then it opens up. Look, it says you are awesome, which, you know, I say all the time. And on the back it says, Claire, I just wanted to send you some happy mail from watching your vlogs. You always put others first, so here are a few things for you. Your vlogs are brilliant and so relatable, so thank you. It's hard when you suffer with mental health because it's invisible, so people don't always see your suffering, but you're so inspirational, thank you. Hugs, Laura, aka Mrs. Stationery and Stuff. Oh my God, honestly, when I read this, I very nearly cried and I'm not a crier. Oh my God, it's just so thoughtful. I couldn't actually believe it. I I don't even, I wasn't expecting this at all. And it is absolutely lovely. So Laura is from Mrs. Stationery and stuff. So I will link it below because I'm feeling very overwhelmed. So things aren't coming out like how it sounds in my head, if that makes sense. Um, I will link her below, but she has supported me from day one on YouTube, I think. Um, she comments on all my videos she's so lovely she's ordered from my shop and and now she sent me happy mail and i'm just oh i'm so grateful i haven't even opened it yet <laughs> so let's have a look um the first thing on here is this oh look it's like handmade wrapping paper with like paper craft on it it's so cute I can't, I don't want to rip it, but inside there is a little Yankee candle and people may not know this about me, but I have a few. Um, I, ha I had a Yankee candle um, advent calendar, um, I blooming love candles. I think this is my favourite one as well, clean cotton. I do like the baby blanket one too. Oh my god, it just smells divine. I can't wait to have this. This is going, this is staying in the office. I'm going to put it in my um, votive holder thing. And in the winter months, I'm going to smell like clean cotton in here and I'm so excited. <laughs> so yeah, that is the first thing. And I just love this wrapping paper. This is super cute. Um, I think I'm going to start a scrapbook um, just for like people um like thank you cards and like little things that people send me because I just I don't like to throw things away and I have a whole box of stuff people have sent me and um I have like thank you cards and stuff all up my wall but I think I'm going to put them in a scrapbook and have like a business appreciation maybe I don't know the right words and um, like a scrapbook of memories for me to look up, back on um anyway I digress <laughs> The next thing that was in the package was these little like rainbow charms. These are cute. Um, I think I've had some of these before when I used to make wish bracelets and I ran out. But if I still got all the wish bracelet stuff, I might make a few to pop into people's orders because um, I just reached a thousand orders on Etsy. So if I made a few wish bracelets with these, I can pop them out into people's orders if they order over like the next week and just be like, this is a little um, celebration gift, um, which I think could be nice. And obviously I'll keep one for myself because I love rainbows, but these are super, super cute. And I love the little packaging bag. Cute. Oh, there's so much stuff here. Um, the next thing says, I'm a huge Disney fan and you mentioned in a vlog about The Little Mermaid so I thought I'd share some with you. Oh, this envelope is so cute. Let's have a look. Oh, I think these are like little postcards. So there's Ariel with Eric made of stone. This is like um, <laughs> this picture here. Whenever me and Jodie go to the spa, we're like, 
we do this picture on this on the edge of the spa wall we're like because ah, you know we're weird oh these are so gorgeous look at this one oh i freaking love this one this one's going up on the wall i think and i think that most of these will go in this scrapbook that i'm definitely going to do now and then this is the next one and we love flounder Oh, these are so cute. Um, I'm not going to show them all on camera because there's actually so many. Here, here's the one that I was just talking about. This is what me and Jodie do at the spa. Uh, because there's so many. And um, we'll be here forever, but these are beautiful. Oh, I love them. Thank you. I love them. I've got a bit of aerial hair going on, haven't I? Well, it looks red on the camera at least. <laughs> okay, so the next thing, oh my God. I think this is a notebook and if it is, you know me, notebook obsession. I'm very excited, I'm very excited. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Look. It says multitasker and it's Mulan, which is one of mine and my little sister's favourites. We used to watch this together all the time. Um, she will want this and she will try to nick this off me, I know for a fact. But look at the inside as well. Can you see? I don't know if you can. Oh my god, this is too kind. Oh, you didn't have to do this, but I freaking love it. Oh my god. Could this be my scrapbook? I don't know. This could be my scrapbook. I'm so excited. This is too kind. I, I don't know what I did to deserve this. <laughs> oh, anyway, there's one more. <laughs> I'm feeling very overwhelmed. <laughs> All right, let's have a look, shall we? I'm making a mess of this tissue paper. What? What now? Oh my god. It's a stationary set. I can't even. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I can't even get into it. It is a amazing stationary set. And let me just get into it because look. Oh, I mean, how beautiful is that? The pen alone is everything I would ever want in a pen. I love pens. <laughs> they sound like such a weirdo. I love pens. Look at these pins. They're like mermaid pins that's going to go on my pin board. I can't. Oh. This is too kind. Oh my god, and the paper clips. Oh, and there's a pad. Desk pad. New desk pad. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. This is really too kind, honestly. Um, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much for these gifts. They were so unexpected. And they've really, really made my entire week and it's only one day um thank you i will link um mrs stationery and stuff the lovely laura below in the um comments but if i can i will add a card here um, because she has a youtube channel so you should check her out and see what she's all about and she's just the loveliest loveliest kindest human and she has totally made my entire week i'm gonna go send her a message right now um but yeah, that is Happy Mail done. That's 15 minutes of me chatting about Happy Mail. So, <laughs> uh, vlog done. No, um, I've got a busy rest of my day today. So I don't know if I will see you today or tomorrow. But for you guys, it'll be a second. So it doesn't really matter.
soul You've heard it all before Honest but I know uh -huh. Left these years ago I was young and I'm old Still care for the void uh -huh. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow Never see the end of the night for sorrow What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done What do we do to love? very pink because we whacked a, another pink on it um, I've got zero makeup on and to be honest I haven't really picked up the camera this week to chat to you so I'm realizing this vlog is going to be very much um, a lot of music um, and just watching me pack orders unbox happy mail that I got um, you know and things like that um, but I still hope you enjoy it anyway um, nothing's happened or anything like that it's just that I just haven't felt like I wanted to pick the camera up and really chit chat or really have a plan this week um, we have Charlie's birthday at the weekend and then tomorrow is Oliver's birthday um, it's just been a really busy week um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't even know why I feel like this. It's so like weird because you know, I talk about my anxiety all the time, but I haven't wanted to pick up the camera. I've not been feeling um, my best. And I just, I don't know. I don't know guys, I don't know. <laughs> it's really hard to explain like what goes through your head and it's hard to put that into words sometimes. There's something, there's a block there, but I don't know what it is and I don't know why it's there, but I haven't felt like I can chat much this week. Um, and I know that's gonna be okay because you guys really support my um, mental health issues and appreciate the fact that I would just come out and tell you if I'm not feeling my best. Nothing's happened though, <laughs> honestly, nothing has happened. I just don't even know, my brain is weird. Um, but yeah, I am just gonna get on with a few more bits today. I'll probably film and let's see what music I can come up with this week. I don't think I'm gonna put the usual song in. <laughs> um, someone did message me and say they hated it, <laughs> but a lot of you I know love it, so I'm kind of conflicted about it. Um, and I think I'm going to leave it out and see what happens. Um, if you miss the usual song, then let me know in the comments and I'll put it in for next time. Um, but I'm going to have a little look at other tunes for 
my um, packing montages and stuff like that but I'm pretty sure this is going to be a pack with me vlog um, so yeah I'm going to go now because I'm babbling and I'm feeling weird um, so yeah I think I've said um a lot in this clip I may re-record this if I haven't re-recorded and you're seeing this give this video a thumbs up for me leaving my babbling anxious brain in the vlog and not deleting it <laughs> anyway guys um yeah let's get oh let's just shut up claire and let's just see what we get up to shall we hello so i am just about to attempt a sticker sheet <laughs> if you have a cricket and you're a creator um, you will probably understand my stress when I say freaking sticker sheets and your Cricut. Um, I have no problem cutting die cut stickers as we saw in my last week's vlog when I showed you how to do them. But sticker sheets for me have always been a massive problem. They always off cut or they don't come out right and they are the bane of my life um but i had this really cute idea i was doodling some um like self um some self-love um lettering on my ipad because i've been trying to do my hand lettering and i made some really cute things and they would just look so sweet on sticker sheets that i decided to give it a go and see if we can figure this out today um i'm not holding out any hope if they cut nice it will be a miracle and i'll be very very happy but then saying that the first lot could cut right and the next lot might not um so they've just finished printing while i've been talking to you so i'm gonna get show you them um they just look like this they're quite big i, I love a big sticker i think if you're gonna make a sticker go big um, so they're quite big um, but on the A4 sheet there's like two so these are like a little bit smaller than A6 I would say um, and then I hand lettered all of these myself you are enough um, make yourself proud <laughs> trying to read it backwards enjoy the little things and believe in yourself and then I did some hearts and some flowers um, on the side for like little embellishments and we're gonna see whether this cuts <laughs> let's try so let's bring you around here this is my professionalism on vlogging um i am gonna put this onto my paper on well, not on paper what's this called what's this thing called Cricket mat got there in the end, didn't I? Thank you, brain. I'm gonna line it up the best I can. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this nutmeg gnarle washi tape because it's not very um, sticky, um, which isn't an insult. I actually really like that it's not very sticky, which means when I use it, it doesn't like rip or stick too much to. Um, the oh, I forgot what it's called again the mat so I'm just gonna tape those edges like that just so when I put it into the Cricut now come along um it won't move because that's half the problem in itself I'm sorry if you can hear the fan I'm having another hot flush um so I'm going to leave you here to see whether this cuts out right. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a look how they turned out. Also, excuse the absolute state of me. This top I'm wearing is filthy. Um, I look like crap because I've had a little cry today. Um, <laughs> hormones. 
<laughs> no apparent re reason, just hormones. Um, and yeah, just not feeling wonderful. But let's see how they've cut out. Ooh, this is the worst part. Okay, so the backing actually has cut out really nicely. And I, I think the stickers have two. There is a little off cut. I'm going to show you. Let me just give them a wipe. Look at that, look how filthy this top is. Right, so this is what they look like. I'm not sure you're going to actually be able to see, but this flower, for instance, um, doesn't cut. I can't see what you can see all the way. Is it focusing? I don't know. I'm going to cut and do a pan shot so you can see. All right, so this is a sticker sheet. Oh, it is so hard to see the cut lines on the camera. But as you can see on this one, like this is the cut line, the second line that you can see. So the pink line is part of the thing. And the second line is the cut line. And it's pretty good. I mean, I'm quite happy with it. But you can see where it's off cut, for example, on the heart. There is more white this side than there is this side. So that is an off cut. And down here on this side of the flower, it's the same. I get really close can you see there that's perfect you can see really well so as you can see in the cutaway then it makes it really hard because when this is going to peel off I'm going to peel this off um, it's going to look really different oh come on camera So the white line is just off, it's off to one side and it is just so freaking annoying when it does that. This is why I stopped doing sticker sheets and why I went directly and only to die cut stickers because I don't have this problem with my die cut stickers and when it does off cut with my die cut stickers you can't really tell but when you're making sticker sheets you can absolutely tell and I can't get this sticker back on the sheet. So yeah, um, I don't know if that is a fail or not. I know that if someone else had said this to me, um, does this look okay, is this um, a second? I'd say no, you should sell it, um, it'd be fine. I would buy it, but then when it's your own, it feels slightly different. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I'm very good at vlogging today. I'm just, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I can't talk. Every time I look at the camera, I just don't feel comfortable. But I wanted to try the sticker sheets. I'm quite happy with them. I think they look so cute. Um, I'm going to put them on my Instagram stories in a minute and see what people think. Um, but yeah, bane of my life, honestly. It's cricket, print and cut. Print and cut? Yeah. Cricket, print and cut. Oh, kiss cut stickers on the cricket anyone got any tips because i've probably done them all let's be fair i have tried so many things i even had a blog post at one point saying try this try this try this and then that stuff doesn't consistently work for me so i took it down so i don't know anyone else have this problem anyone else hate the cricut print and cut feature as much as me still loving my hair i'm sorry but i am right I'm going to go and give up on this and I might try cutting them out as die cut stickers and then putting them in a pack like I do with my other pack stickers and see if I feel better about that. Hello guys, it's Saturday, I know. Um, I'm ending the vlog because I've just been looking through my footage and I didn't end it. It was a pretty lazy vlog, I must say. Um, this week but I'm going to put it up anyway because it's a reflection on my week. It's been um, quiet, um, a little bit lazy, I haven't really wanted to pick the camera up, um, had a few issues with my cricket and lots of happy mail. Um, I know some of you really enjoy happy mail 
and packing videos and stuff so i'm gonna keep it up true reflection of what's gone on um but yeah i needed to end it what is going on with this one piece of hair which is like perfectly straight um, i don't know i had my hair up in a bun last night and this side has gone all like a bun and curly and then this side completely straight so for now i'm just wearing it to one side <laughs> but that one piece just keeps sticking out <laughs> oh hair life i'll probably put it up in a minute anyway um just as i was about to start filming the post came and realized it's happy post and it's from Jeff and the Squirrel. I made a cheeky little purchase on Stevie's site um, because she's always so lovely to me. So I thought I'd have a little look and she had a little sale on, which is even better. So I ordered a couple of things for the art wall and the sticker board, which is getting so full, I'm going to have to get a whole new sticker board soon. Um, but yeah. Oh, look at her thank you card. This is so cute. I've got my scrapbook ready. I'm going to make some inserts for it. And all the um, nice thank you cards that I get are all going to go together. Um, so this one says, yay, Claire, thank you so much for shopping small and supporting my little business. You've made my day. If you love your order, I would be thrilled if you could leave me a little review. It really does help. And then she's left her links. Look at this. I love this. There are her links. Um, check her out because I love all her stuff. But you'll see how cute. So I got this postcard. I just had to have it because you know me. I love a rainbow. I love a cloud. Um, and then I got this really cute sticker on it. It's just so cute. Look. It's a dinosaur. And it says, you're awesome. Thank you. Um, and I just loved it. I love how everything just like is matchy. Look at this. So cute. Love it. So yeah, that just arrived and I'm really excited for that. And then this came. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. It's for my office. Hopefully I don't open this and it's like something really random that Dave's ordered and that's not fun. <laughs> But I bought this. Yeah. Yeah. So I actually saw this on Stacey Solomon's um oh god, sorry. Um story. Um because she had one for Rex, her little boy. And I know I'm not a child, but I wanted one. <laughs> because you know what I'm like, guys. I love a rainbow. <laughs> And this is a rainbow. So it's an LED light up rainbow. <laughs> and it's got a little hook so I can hang it on the wall. So I could have it like in the back of my vlog somewhere. I might put it up above the pin board here. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet. I need to have an office rejig. It's been a while. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put some batches in this in a minute. And I'm going to take some uh, arty farty shots. And then I'm going to get this vlog. Um, edited, um, exported and uploaded and onto my Patreon today and then live for you guys watching this um, probably on Sunday. So yes, thank you for sticking with me if you made it this far because I realised it was probably a little bit boring this week. Um, as always, please give it a thumbs up, that really helps me out. And if you're not subscribed, then please think about subscribing because I really want to get to a thousand followers by the end of the year. Um, I've got a long way to go. Um, so it'd be really cool if you could subscribe to my channel. Um, so yeah, also, side note, if you're watching this on Sunday the 10th, um, I have a big, 30% off sale on my Etsy going on until Monday tomorrow which is the 11th of August um, to say thank you for getting a thousand sales on Etsy oh my god I can't even believe that and see it as a massive sale I've got loads of orders and um, so I'm pretty sure hopefully there'll be a midweek video of a pack with me which I know a lot of you really like those as well 
um, because I'm going to pack them all this weekend. So yeah, please go and check that out. The link will be in my bio. The link to everyone else who I've mentioned in this vlog will be in my bio also. And yeah, you can find my Instagram, my Patreon and anything else in the bio as well. So yeah. I hope you all are really, really well and have had a brilliant week and I'll see you next week for another studio vlog. Okay, goodbye.